sub zero for a few days, but better safe than sorry. I got shiner trap. I'm hoping to find my shiner trap stash that I keep out in the woods. I don't bring much of this back. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide my safety rope out there too. I don't want to be carrying all this stuff in and out because it's my shiner pond. It's low profile. If this got out, I'd lose shiners. That's not gonna happen. How do I trap them? In shiner traps, I love making them. It's so easy to make one. Just look at a minnow trap and then create that with chicken wire and, and some uh, thin wire to weave it together with. Uh, zip tie here and there. You can make a bigger one. You know, nice shiner trap. I, I might have a homemade one left down here. Wow, looks weak. I don't think it is. Cool. I'm going to turn you on if I find my hidden trap or when I get to the location. I was just going to give up. There's some mesh from a homemade trap right in there. Whoa, there's my other one. All right. Hello. Two traps. It wasn't right there. I'm pulling it out. Wow. And I bought one. Amazing. about that now just below the ice that's one well it didn't go as planned I was hoping to get some today but I got three sets one two three hey everybody hitman from blackopsfishing.com I want to wish everyone a happy and prosperous new year here in Connecticut it's about six degrees right now wind chill factors way below that I'm going back to the Shiner Pond yesterday's footage was lost I don't know why there was a few clips but some of them seem to be actually missing I always look to make sure the cameras flashing uh, the camera froze a few times I don't really know what happened fortunately there was enough bait left for me to reset two traps which I did and we can check those this morning, so stay tuned. So it's six degrees out right now, wind chilled is like 14 below or something like that. I was here yesterday, I checked the traps, filmed everything, got home, and a lot of footage was missing. The cameras were freezing, put two traps back in because there was enough bait. I didn't realize I might need that footage, so I'm going to try to check those right now. I am going to check them right now and hope that there's bait in them like there was yesterday and that's it oh yeah the sneaky part isn't that i'm doing something wrong it's that i don't want anybody to know i'm in here getting shiners well i'm here the cameras are rolling there's the two sets i have in one two that branch now i need my uh dunkin donuts cup there it is oh yes I need this pretty bad too. There's one 
one shiner in here. That's crazy. So yesterday it was fall. You're just going to have to believe it. This one's thick. Look at that. Wow. Big difference. Oh yeah, thanks. Whew. Uh, there we go. <laughs> There's over 70 shiners in there. Well, hopefully that makes up for losing some footage yesterday. Got a nice trap full, 80 or 90 shiners, minnows, whatever you guys call them. Great ice fishing bait, easy to do. Just gotta be able to take the brutal temps, which I love, because I got the stuff. You just gotta have the right stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna end my season right now for this year. It's New Year's Eve. Got family matters later, so we're gonna go out and have fun. But, uh, happy New Year's to everyone out there. Hope you all have a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2018. And keep off my bass.